What's up guys? Welcome back to the Fig Heel YouTube channel and today we're going to be taking a look at my top five favorite AEW action figures to date. So stay tuned and let's see what my list consists of. So today we're going to take a look at my top five favorite AEW figures. But first, we're going to take a look at my new book, The Ultimate Wrestling Figure Checklist, available now on Amazon.com, including Prime Shipping. It is available in hardcover, as you can see here, paperback and Kindle. Um, it's a 500 plus page guide to over 40 years of wrestling figure collecting. But don't let me tell you about it. Since we're talking about AEW, I'm going to let all ego Ethan Page, Santana, and Smart Mark Sterling smarten you up right now. Alright, so, this is all the wrestling figures. Yes. This is a really cool thing. This, uh, oh! This year, the Ultimate Wrestling Figure Checklist. They make one every year. I'm not sure how long it's been going, but... It's um, cool that Luchasaurus is on the front. Yeah, so, like, new... This is all new stuff, but... This, we talked about this on the podcast because it was a pretty big deal. Let me show you this. Find it, speed this up in editing. Yeah, I will. Anytime now. Hold on, hold on. Bring oh, wow, they got everybody. Holy crap. Noah, New Japan, Mass Lucha Libre. Holy. Oh, here we go, here we go. All right. Well, no way! We have our own section. All right, so it has, for now, it has the ringside figures. Dude, that's so cool. Uh, Where's your name? Where's your name? These aren't even out yet. Yeah. But they're kind of, this is coming. Is that out. the Bendems? No, this would be this. This is going to be this Remco style. Yeah, yeah. But they're not out yet. So we have the samples and then our brawlers in here. Dude, that's, that's so cool. Room. Yeah. So we have our own little. We have the, the buddies. So next year, oh yeah, so here's two. Smart so it's in there. Super Seven figures. Pretty cool. Very cool. So our own section and congrats. The ultimate wrestling figure checklist. Santana's in here too. And, yeah. Yes, we I mean, know. You know He's, yeah. You know. Well, you don't need a book to go get his toy at Target. This is true. <laughs> Just walk in, bro. Get your groceries and your Santana fig. All right. So as I said, we're taking a look at my top five favorite AEW figures to date. Again, this is my opinion. It doesn't mean anything. It's all opinion. We all like different things and our eyes go to different things. So comment below. Let me know your top five. But we're going to get started on mine. And number one, I'm sorry, number five, I should say is Series 7 Murder Hawk Monster Lance Archer. I think this figure is great, and I love it. Um, I do think the body's great. The tattoos, the gear, the head scan I think is excellent. For me, the things that are holding this back from being higher up on the, uh, the list are the fact that he does not have chest hair, and he does not have the braids in his beard as he should this one should have one braid the um uh what's it called actually no i think this one's supposed to have two the chase is supposed to have one but i mean it's still a great figure look at that head scan he's got the the red braid in his hair tattoos the back tat's even really cool the red and silver on the black he's got the skulls on the boots i mean it's a great likeness they just missed out by uh, not including a couple things, which are his chest hair and the braids. I mean, I think the braided beard is a big thing because without those braids, his beard isn't as long as it actually is. So that's a little bit of a bummer. But um, yeah, this takes place at Double or Nothing, May 23rd, 2020 in Jacksonville, Florida. There's a signature. He's fighting uh, Cody Rhodes, as you can see. Really cool figure. Um, again, this probably would be higher up if it was a little bit better. Look at the detail on the boots. The gear there. I think they did a bang up job. And maybe one day the next figure will have an additional head or retooled beard. And that would make it much better. But number five is Series 7 Lance Archer. And number four, at the time of this recording, is actually a brand new figure, and I'm obsessed with it. I think it's awesome, and that is the Ringside Collectibles exclusive 
Aubrey Edwards that is available with the authentic scale double or nothing ring. Um, a lot of people's Aubrey, the lower half of her torso was like yellow. Mine was not luckily. But if yours is, Jazzwares, if you call them, is sending out replacements. They're in bags. Um, they're telling you that they're only gonna send a torso. However, I've seen a lot of people getting the full figure bagged. So definitely hit them up if you're interested in replacing it. But this is a monumental figure. It's a long time coming since we've had a named referee figure. It's not just a generic referee, you know, um, or a character as a referee. And Mattel does that a lot with like Batista and Dangerous Danny Davis. But this is a referee action figure, period. It's not somebody as one. And I think that's awesome. Has a great likeness for Aubrey. Great likeness on the shirt. And no, that, that's just a little fuzz on there. She's got a C-grip. She's got the tapping hands. They even gave her all of her nail colors. Her thumb, pointer, middle, and pinky finger are all red nails, whereas the ring finger is blue. She's got the two hand. She's got the one hand. I mean, I don't really know what else you could ask. But as I was saying, this is a monumental figure. Not only is it the first referee figure in a long time, but it is the first ever women's referee figure this is something that's gonna go down in history and I think that she is thrilled to be the first one and I'm thrilled to own it. So number four for me is the Aubrey Edwards figure from the Authentic Scale Ring exclusive to Ringside Collectibles. Number three is actually a one of 500 chase figure. This is from series number three it is the one of 500 Darby Allen. And as you can see, it's mint on car. Took me a while to get this one. He's got a very similar jacket to the standard edition. His shorts, tights, boots. But what's different is the paint. And I think the paint on him is incredible. Um, let me put it up here so we can see. As you can see, he's stitched down the middle white paint on his body and face and it has champ all the way down it's even on his arms if you take off the jacket it says champ 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 and he comes with a sick skateboard that says darby allen aew champ i love that i think this figure is so cool um i definitely paid a hefty price for it but it was worth it it's a one of 500 no chance that i was going to find it in stores um but i'm happy with my purchase He's even got his tattoos. I love how it's split in half because of the paint. Great likeness on him. I love the eye makeup, the chain. Very cool. And here he is. It's a picture of him in the paint from when he faced um, pain maker Chris Jericho at Dynamite, October 16, 2019 in Philadelphia, PA, which is, uh, you know, my stomping grounds, my hometown. Wish I was there for that. It would have made this uh, figure so much more uh, monumental for me, but I think it's still a pretty cool figure. Definitely my number three. I thought about making it number two, but I think there's some other figures that are a little bit more deserving, but happy to have this on my list. The one of 500 series three Darby Allen with champ all over himself. And I love this. Um, one of the selling points for me was this, uh, skateboard. I just think it's awesome. I love the, the, hand-drawn skull and crossbones there. It's very Darby Allen in my opinion. So number three is the one of 500 Darby Allen action figure from series three. And number two, some of you may have already been able to guess this. It is another series three figure, Orange Cassidy. Another monumental figure. We're talking about somebody who has rubberized pants that are able to have their legs maneuver in them. He can put his hands in the pockets. He's got a cloth good shirt and jacket, removable sunglasses, and an excellent likeness on the head to boot. It's got everything you could possibly think. If you're gonna have a first time figure, this is the one you want. It's absolutely perfect. The shoes are incredible. The pants are unreal. You can actually maneuver in them and, and they are um, fluid, you know, there's you, there, you, there's no sight of joints because of how they did the technology on the pants. He's got his hand about to go in, very cool. 
interchangeable hands, um, C grips, both hands can go in the pockets, and here we've got his uh, minimized thumb. Very, very cool. It's identical to what he's wearing on the package. The face is even identical. It all looks great. And here he is on the back wearing it. And it's from Dynamite, June 24th, 2020, Jacksonville, Florida. <coughs> I love this figure. I do think that this is innovative. And it's something that we never saw before as far as the pants go. And I really think that Jazzwares thought outside the box on this one. And it's well-deserved of a high spot, high-ranking spot on any list, in my opinion. But definitely on my list. So number two is the Orange Cassidy from Series 3. And number one, I've said it all year. I've said that this was a figure of the year contender. Hell, I even put it on the cover of my book. So obviously, I am talking about... Lucha Saurus from Series 5. Look at the detail on this figure. Another figure that if you're going to have your first time, this is the one you want. Great detail on the figures. He's huge. He's, he's great in scale with everybody else. He's got the green fingertips. He's got the toe shoes down here where you can see every single toe. He's got the gold, the green, the black belt, the loincloth, sea grip hands. But look at this head. I mean... This has got to be the best AEW head that they've done at Jazzwares. He's got the tongue out. Great likeness as far as the beard goes, the mask, the green um, braid in his hair, his eyes, the horns on the mask. This looks like they literally just printed out the man himself. I love the tattoos. He's got the gauntlets. I, there's not enough good to say about this figure because it's just all good. Do you know what I mean? Don't get me wrong, Jungle Boy was awesome, but there was a couple things I didn't like. This figure, in my opinion, is perfect. Um, and it's definitely deserving of number one on my list. And this is from Double or Nothing, May 25th, 2019, in Las Vegas, Nevada. Love this figure. Always have, always will. I mean, look at it. How could you not? This, Even if you're not a fan of Luchasaurus, it's a must-have action figure for any wrestling figure collector. So... That's my number one. But let's recap the list. Number five was Series 7, Lance Archer. A long-awaited figure. I'm surprised it took seven series to get him into the line. I thought he would have been in way sooner than that. Number four is the Ringside Collectibles exclusive, Ring exclusive, Aubrey Edwards. Excellent figure. We needed a referee, and I think she was well-deserved to be the first. Number three is a Series 3, 1 of 500, Darby Allen. There he is. Took me a while to get it, but it was worth the wait. I love the white, the champ, everything, but that skateboard is the big winner for me. Love this figure. Number two is another Series 3 figure. It is Orange Cassidy. He's got the rubberized pants that you can maneuver and put the hands in. Cloth good shirt and jacket and removable sunglasses with an excellent face scan. Orange Cassidy, freshly squeezed, and freshly number two on my list. And number one is series number five, Luchasaurus. So comment below. Let me know your top five favorite AEW figures. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Pick up the Ultimate Wrestling Figure Checklist, available now on Amazon.com. Go to ProWrestlingTees.com slash FigHeel for all your merchandise needs. And we'll see you on the next one, guys. Take it easy. Have a good one. Peace. Are you a wrestling figure collector of WWE Mattel? AEW Jazzwares, and everything in between, then you need Fig Heels Ultimate Wrestling Figure Checklist, a 500 plus page guide to over 40 plus years of wrestling figure collecting. As heard on the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast, it features WWE, WWF, WCW, ECW, TNA, NJPW, AEW, Ring of Honor, AWA, Dragon Gate, CMLL, AJPW, AAA, and more. Professionally organized so you can keep track of mock, loose, value, and much more. Big Heels Ultimate Wrestling Figure Checklist, available now on Amazon.com.
If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok at FigHeel. Check out my book series on Amazon and my merchandise on ProWrestlingTees.com slash FigHeel. Head over to Heroes Hideout for all your figure needs and use code FigHeel at checkout to save 10%.